Hello and welcome back to the Blue Eye Guy Gaming News. Today we've got a special one for you. Um, Xbox One's midnight launch events detailed. Microsoft planning global festivities to mark the occasion. Over 10,000 stores in 13 countries expected to open their doors at midnight. Um, with nine days. 13. Alright, this was done from the 13th, so wait a minute. It says 9 days. So how many? Uh, 13th. Four days ago, um, we are well and truly in the current gen and end times and over an Xbox wire, Microsoft has begun detailing its plans for worldwide launch events, which will kick off in just over a week's time in major cities across the globe. Festivities will kick off in, a major, in major cities around the world, starting in Auckland, New Zealand, and continuing through Sydney, London, New York City and Los Angeles. United fans who have come together to celebrate the availability of Xbox One, the article on Xbox Wire reads. Today we invite millions of Xbox fans around the world to join us for the launch of Xbox One, beginning on November 21st, as we count down the final hours to the launch of Xbox One, said Yusuf Mehdi. Xbox's Corporate Vice President of Marketing and Strategy said in a prepared statement, Xbox One will be the biggest launch in the history of Xbox and we can't wait to celebrate with our fans. The center of celebrations in New York City will be the Best Buy Theater in Times Square, where waiting fans have been promised a convergence of Roman soldiers, zombies and supercabs, followed by a live performance by Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. Over in LA, Milk Studios will be hosting a performance by Dead Mouse to the first 500 people waiting in line to buy their Xbox One. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Australia, the Sydney Harbour will be lit up especially to mark the occasion. Whilst Shed 10 in Auckland will be hosting live DJ sets for Xbox's New Zealand fans. Paris and Berlin will be at the centre of Xbox One's European launch celebrations with skin and MS Color appearing at a launch event in Italy. Madrid's Colon Square will be decked out so that Spanish fans can experience the Xbox One for themselves. And here in the UK, the UK will celebrate the launch of Xbox One in central London at an event featuring many surprise performances, celebrity appearances and gameplay. The official statement reads, after the live event, attention turns to Area 1 and London where fans can play Xbox One games while waiting for a special midnight store opening. More than 10,000 retail locations in 13 countries are expected to open their doors at 12.01am on 22nd of November. Are you planning on attending any of the midnight launch events? That is a question. So. If you're going, if you've already pre-ordered the Xbox One, are you actually going to go to one of the launches, or are you just going to wait at a your local store to collect it at midnight, um, or are you just going to wait to the obviously day before you get it? Most people work, so they won't be able to play the console at night anyway, unless they are a bit, unless they work during nights, <laughs> obviously they wouldn't get it if they work by night, but yeah, that was just a short uh, special Xbox midnight um, launch. I've also got some information on um, the new radio station I'm going to be setting up. Um, it's uh, using Sprecher 
speaker. Um, it's an app on i. You can have it on computer. It's an app on iPod, which I might use. I think I'm going to use it on the iPod. You get to um, if you've got iTunes music, you're allowed to play iTunes. It links up with your iTunes music, so you can play iTunes while um, you can. Well, if you turn it sideways, like the camera is at the moment, um, it comes up with like a DJ thing where you have obviously the record button at the top. You can either record live broadcast or you can record it and like keep it as a like blog, vlog, um, radio log or something like that. So people can uh, go to your like channel, broadcast channel. And just watch like um, uh, your um, podcasts. I think they're called podcasts where they're not broadcast live, where they've been recorded um, for you to listen. So you can either live stream it, like broadcast it as a radio station, or you can record it. Obviously, um, if you've got iTunes account and you've got music on there, you can. Um, uh, like mix using it on the side you can use the mixer desk so you can like fade in your music uh, you can have like load one music thing up on the left while another song is waiting on your right and then you just fade um, and press like you have your normal audio you turn on your microphone um, which allows you to obviously talk and when you want to play the music you turn off the radio uh, microphone and then you go to your left song and like move that up so it's playing wait until that song's finished and then zoom that down while you're zooming up the next song if you want to do two songs in a row and then you like do that turn them off change the music while you're still broadcasting um, it's quite good I haven't seen the PC version, but they you they found out this radio free rate. Well, it's not free. Well, you have up to 30 minutes recording for each recording. And you get about 10 um, hours of uh, recordings that you can keep on your channel. So if you um, so if you broadcast like a couple. Uh, a week you'll be able you'll have and you want the free account you're gonna have to take off some of the later um, videos which most people uh, broadcasts which most people won't listen to this broadcast anyway because they'll be old but yeah this has been a short video the shortest video I've ever done I think of the news um, so yeah See you later, and see you on the broadcast, which I think I'm going to start next week, or by uh, this weekend or something. I'm going to um, muck about a bit, and do like a, uh, you can do draft ones, so I'm going to try and do some draft uh, videos, and see if the PC version's better, because obviously I have my Turtle Beaches, which I'll be able to use the microphone um, with. Um, then I might use uh, Twitter or something like that to, for me to get um, like street. I'll find a way of getting like chat in, like um, Twitch, like that. But yeah, this has been the Blue Eye Guy Gaming News for Xbox One's Midnight Launch events. I'm not getting it, by the way. <laughs> not until next year so yeah see you later bye